Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will be learning how to insert values in a table. Okay, so what we have done till now is we created schema. Okay, and we also learned how we can modify existing schema. Now our schema is ready. What we need to do is now we need to insert values. Okay, so if it is let's say ID name salary so we need to insert values 1 a 5k something like this okay so now we need to insert values in our table okay so to insert values we use insert command okay in sql so insert then this is a keyword into so insert into then this is table name okay so if i want to insert value in employee table we will write employ fine then these are attributes so attribute one attribute two so for example in this case it would be id name salary fine and then we will have to insert values so the value will be let's say one then a and 5k once we enter it will insert the value one a and 5k into this table okay now in general what happens is this id field are kept auto increment okay so when it is auto increment it will keep on incrementing automatically whenever some column is uh, some rows are inserted so let's say when i'm inserting the next record i will not provide this id value okay i'll provide just name b or let's say 6k so as this field is auto incremented it will automatically increment from the last value okay so it is one then it will take two right automatically so here in that case we also need to need not to provide this attribute one okay so these attribute one and value one will not be provided if the id field is auto incremented fine so we can provide only those columns here which I need to in for which I need to insert values okay now providing column name always is not important that is we can this is optional and we can skip this so we can directly write insert into table name of course and then values fine we are skipping this column name this whole thing whole thing we are skipping right so now it's well understood that we can only do this if we are going to provide all the values i mean values for all the attributes here in the above case if i don't want to provide salary information and this field has not the constraint of not null okay it means that it can be null then we can skip this value okay so when we will not write this column and we will not write this corresponding value right but here in this case we cannot do that we have to provide values for all the attributes all the columns fine so this is what the difference is now you can easily guess that if the field is auto increment we cannot use this kind of insertion fine we have to use this thing where we will not provide this id value so now we have learned how to insert values in table our table is ready to perform some select queries okay so now in next next lecture we will perform select query over a table and this table will not be employee table in next lecture what we will do is we will perform query over the table which we have imported okay so so hope to see you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.